Peter, thank you. This is Impact. The changing story of China is a common theme on this program as we chart the pace of development and how that impacts lives the world over. One Western photographer based in China has had a close-up view of those changes, documenting big events like the Olympics and the Shanghai Expo, but also the human stories behind the new China. Ryan Pahl has an exhibition of his photographs of China on show here in the UK, and he's with me now here in the studio. Thanks for being uh, with us. Thank First you. of all, what is it like working in China, I imagine it's sometimes a little difficult to get the access that you well, need? Well, I think after, you know, nearly a decade of working there, you kind of know, you know, what you can and can't do. I mean, every country in the world has its, has its uh, ways of accessing certain stories, and, and China is no different from that. And, and uh, you're right, I mean, things can get difficult from time to time, but, uh, you know, in the last 10 years, the country has opened up a lot. Mm. And, and your pictures really show, show those changes. Yeah, I think, you know, we, we try to do that. I mean, there's a lot of photographers based in China. I'm just one of many, and it's, uh, and it's great to have a chance to d document that history because what we're seeing now, and here you can see a picture of some construction workers. I mean, what we're doing now, now is in China is it's not going to happen again. It's really its industrial revolution moment. Um, so, so the, the, this is one, the, these are a couple of the pictures you've taken of construction sites. So this is the kind of way that I guess you've seen the landscape change around you in the 10 years you've been there. I think that's a great way to describe it. Is the landscape is changing. Um, you know, people are moving from the countryside to the cities. That's a well-known story. And, and also the cities are regenerating themselves and, and becoming world class. And, and as all this is, is, is moving forward, I'm just there trying to document this history that moment and I think uh, in 10 or 20 years time we're all going to look at some of these pictures that I hope inside view on some of the um, <clears throat> events that we've covered yes. um, positive events sad events as well for instance like the Sichuan earthquake yes how soon after the earthquake did you, you did you get out there to um, the I was there about 48 hours afterwards and of course uh, we, no one really knew what the real story was coming out and, and where was this taken this was taken in Dujang Yan which is in um, Sichuan province and it's about an hour and a half from uh, Chengdu and it was one of the first places where people started to realize holy cow this is a serious serious it had completely fallen apart and and the um, <clears throat> the young boy I think who's who's in that picture I got from here I can't tell his age but yeah. he was someone who who lived there was this his street yeah I mean I don't know if this was his street exactly and and there were a lot of people just walking around dazed and confused um, and I think we've seen that a little bit in Christchurch in the last week or so. People are just in shock. And, uh, and when something like this happens, when your entire city falls apart around you, when, you, when relatives are, you know, the loss of life, um, people just don't know how to deal with that emotionally. And I don't, I don't know how you would tell them how to deal with that. But <clears throat> Very different set of emotions that came yeah. to mind looking at your pictures of the Beijing Olympics, mm -hmm. uh, which I remember well from, from covering them. Um, yeah. I mean, you, you've documented not the sporting side of things, but the reaction of, of people, Chinese, watching the games. Well, this is one important thing that I try to work on in all my photography, and I, I try to document the human experience and how are Chinese people adapting to the way that their world, their life is changing. And the Olympics was a great example of that. And the, these are people watching what, watching the actual coverage? Yeah, there are. There are uh, what I, the story was that we worked on a, a piece uh, for the Wall Street Journal about, about how average Beijingers are experiencing the opening ceremony, which was an amazing event uh, yes, for anyone. Unforgettable. Unforgettable. And here we had, you know, in the street, you know, tens and hundreds of people all queued up in front of these little tiny televisions, all looking over each other's shoulders, and, and the pride and the excitement was really there. And you could see that. And it was great because it was in the Hutongs, and it was in August, and it was hot and people were out in the streets and, and there was a real kind of excitement. Was, was it similar when it came to the, to the Shanghai Expo? Shanghai is the city um, you live in. I mean, I remember the, the Expo well. In fact, I remember standing in front of this building very well indeed. Yeah. The British Pavilion. Absolutely. And here you can see a, a Chinese guy taking um, some British nationals uh, through. And, and <clears throat> the, the Expo was, uh, was an unbelievable kind of undertaking for the Shanghai government to do. And of course, you know, did, did China need to do this or, or was the... <clears throat> up to, to Beijing, do you think? Yeah, and it's, you know, China's getting very good at hosting these large-scale events, and the landscape is changing, and the expo was, uh, was, was pretty impressive to, to oh, take a look at. Ryan Powell, thanks for coming in to talk to us while you're here, and uh, your photographs are online, and also your exhibition is, uh, is happening in the UK right now. Thanks very much. Great, thank you.